persuasion. And when we talk about persuasion, first of all, what is persuasion? Persuasion is convincing, right? If you try to persuade someone, you try to convince someone about something. So there's lots of things in our daily life that we try to convince people about, that we try to persuade people about. There's lots of different people that we try to persuade, and there's lots of different ways that we try to do it. So we generated a list of different people that we might try to persuade. Some of the people that we came up with are mom and dad, or stepmom and stepdad, a brother, sister, so people in our family, okay? We might try to persuade people in our family, a friend, okay? We might try to convince our friends to about something, our teachers, okay, or our principal. All right, um, those were some of the, the people that we came up with that we might try to persuade. Things that we might try to persuade these people about um, are maybe getting a pet, okay, getting some school supplies, right. extra recess, all right, or free time, if it's the teacher, having candy, all right, um, taking a vacation. Um, playing games, or maybe getting a game, having no homework, that was a big one, or maybe at home not doing homework, uh oh, okay, um, or being able to do fun things um, that you like to do or get fun things. Now there were certain methods that we used, right, different ways that we used to persuade people that we talked about, okay, um, it's for a good cause. Right, if something's for a good cause, it's more persuasive. Something that we need, okay, so our needs, something that's going to meet needs, something that we find useful, okay, something that's educational, all right, something that will lower stress, um, something that's good for health. Something that will make us smarter. Okay, so all of these reasons are, are, I mean, all of these ways are different ways that we might persuade people. For example, you might try to persuade the teacher to give you an extra recess because it's good for your health. Okay, those are some ways. Maybe you want to persuade mom or dad to get a pet because pets are low stress. They add a lot of stress to a family in some ways, but if you have a pet, they can help lower your stress and help you relax. Okay, maybe you want to persuade um, your friend to share their candy. Okay, um, and maybe you will somehow convince them that it's a need. Okay, even though it's not, but maybe you will somehow convince them that it is. All right, but these are different um, people that we persuade, different things that we try to get when we persuade, and these are different ways that we use to persuade. Okay, and remember, we're talking about when we use different ways to persuade, we have to think about who we're persuading. Okay, for if we're just talking for our own opinion, we might say, because I like it, because it's fun. Okay, but the people that we're trying to persuade aren't necessarily going to see things the same way as we are. So we have to think about the ways that are going to, um, that are going to impact the people that we're, we're trying to persuade. Okay? So this is, um, this is a lesson, a writing lesson in persuasion.